Welcome to the second part of my fingerstyle guitar tutorial of Scared to be Lonely by Martin Garrix. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to learn the chorus of the song and we're going to learn the post chorus. Then we know my whole arrangement. So what we're going to learn in this tutorial is going to sound like this. First, going to learn the chorus of the song, and we're going to start with bar 22 to 25. So we have. So start by putting your thumb on the first fret sixth string, middle finger on the second fret third string, and point finger on the first fret second string. With your right hand, you're going to pluck string six, three, and two at the same time. Then you're going to play open first string two times. So we have. And now for bar 23, put your. Keep having your point finger on the first fret um, and put your ring finger on the third fret, fifth string. Now we're going to pluck string 5 and 1 at the same time. Add your pink finger to the third fret, second string. Pluck it once. And now you're going to lift the pink finger and we're going to do a hammer on from the first fret second string to the third fret with your pink finger. Okay, so we have. And we're going to end with playing an open first string. So bar 22 to 23. And for bar 24, keep having your point finger on the first fret and add your ring finger to the 3rd fret 6th string and we're going to play it once only the 6th string then we're going to play the 2nd string and now we we'll open 1st string so we have and for bar 25 just play 5th and 1st string open pink finger on the 3rd fret 2nd play it once point finger on the 1st fret 2nd play it once Lift it and play open 2nd string. So we have. And we're going to end bar 25. We're putting our middle finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string. So bar 24 to. Sorry, bar 22 to 25. And for bar 26 back on the same shape with our, with our thumb on the 1st fret 6th string, put your pink finger on the 3rd fret 2nd and we're going to pluck the 6th string once, then we're going to pluck the 2nd string 3rd fret, open 1st string and open 1st string. So we have and for bar 27, ring finger on the 3rd fret 5th string and now we're going to play string 5 and 1 at the same time. Add your pink finger to the 3rd fret 2nd and play it 2 times quickly. So. And now have your point finger on the 1st fret 2nd string. Because now we're going to play the 2nd string and do a hammer on to the 3rd with our pinky, just like before. And play open 1st string. And back on the 3rd fret 2nd string. So bar 27 slowly. Bar 26 to 27. And for bar 28. Put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 6th string, play it once. Then we're going to play the 3rd fret open 2 times. Now 1st string open, and 3rd fret 2nd string, once above. And for 
for bar 29, play 5th string open, and now put your middle finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string, have your point finger on the 1st fret 2nd, so we're going to play 5th string open, and 2nd uh, fret 3rd string 2 times, and now you're going to pluck string 3 and 2 at the same time, then pluck the same strings again, but put your middle finger also on the 3rd fret 2nd string. So we have Okay. So that's bar 26 to 29. Now for bar 30 to 33, put your thumb on the first fret, uh, sixth string just like before, point finger on the first fret, second and middle finger on the second fret, third string. With your right hand, pluck string 6, 3 and 2 at the same time. So this outcome is bars, we are basically just repeating the bars as before, but we're going to add some bass notes, but I'm going to walk you through it. So, and now you're going to pluck string 6 and 1 at the same time. And now play string 1 alone. So we have... And for bar 31 ring finger on the 3rd fret 5th string and we're going to pluck string 5 and 1 at the same time put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string play it once and now point finger on the 1st fret 2nd string because now we're going to do a hammer on play string 5 and 2 at the same time and hammer on to the 3rd and end with an open 1st string so bar 31 32, 31 and for bar 32 put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 6th string play it once and now you're going to play string 6 and 2 so have your point finger on the 1st fret 2nd and end with an open 1st string so for the next bar play string 5 and 1 at the same time open pink finger on the 3rd fret 2nd play it once Point finger on the 1st fret 2nd, play string 5 and 2 at the same time, lift it and play open 2nd string, and put your middle finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string, so, so these bars. And for the next bars, 34 to 37, um, we're going to have the same shape, so thumb on the 1st fret 6th string and you're going to have your pink finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string and we're going to start this bar by playing string 6 2 times so we have okay, and now you're going to pluck string 6 and 2 at the same time play open 1st string and now pluck string 6 and 1 at the same time so Okay, so for bar 35, put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 5th string and now we're going to play string 5 and 1 at the same time. Put your pink finger to the 3rd fret 2nd string, play it once, and now play string 5 and 2 at the same time. So we have... Put your point finger on the 1st fret 2nd string and now we're going to play string 5 and 2 and do a hammer on to the 3rd. And now play string 5 and 1 at the same time. So we have... And end with 3rd fret 2nd string once. And for bar 36, put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 6th string, play it once. And now we're quickly going to play string 6 and 3 at the same time, 2 times. So... And then you're going to pluck the 6th string, one, two, three times. So one, two, three, and then pluck string six and one at the same time. And add your pink finger to the third fret second and pluck string six and two at the same time. So one more time. Quickly. And for bar 37, 
just put your middle finger on the second fret third string and play twice and now we're going to do a slide from the third fret to the fifth fret on the first string and then back to the third so so now we know bar 34 to 37 Okay, so now we only have the post chorus left for the song. So start by putting your thumb on the first fret, sixth string, point finger on the first fret, second string, and middle finger on the second fret, third string. With your right hand, you're going to pluck string six, three, and two at the same time going to pluck this two times so well and now add your pink finger to the third fret first string and now we're going to slap the strings and at the same time you're going to use your ring finger of your right hand to strum string two and one so and now pluck the first string third fret and open first string so we have bar 39 put your ring finger on the third fret fifth string and play it once and now play open first string and now put your pink finger on the eighth fret first string ring finger on the eighth fret second string and now we're going to do the same slap but now we're going to strum a string three two and one at the same time pluck the first string eighth fret and then pluck the 7th fret so okay so and for bar 40 put your point finger on the 3rd fret 6th uh, string and keep holding your pink finger on the 7th so we're going to play this once and now play the 1st string once and now we're going to do the same slap now we're going to strum string 2 and 1 and now we're quickly going to play the 5th fret back to the 7th fret 1st string and up to the 8th fret 1st string so and for bar 41 put your point finger on the 5th fret 1st string and play string 5 and 1 at the same time now we're going to slap the strings strum string 2 and 1 and then pluck the first string. So. Okay, so now we know bar 38 to 41. And for bar 42 to 45, um, the first two bars are exactly the same. So we have. But for bar 44 to 47, it's a bit different. So point finger on the third fret sixth string, play it once, and have your pink finger on the seventh fret first string and play it once. So, but now we're going to go up to the tenth fret first string, and we're going to slap the strings and strum string three and two, sorry two and one. Pluck the first string again, tenth fret, and then put your point finger on the eighth fret first string so we have so bar 45 is going to start with uh, open 5th string and 10th fret 2nd string and we're going to end this bar with playing 1st fret 2nd string then open 2nd string and then 2nd fret 3rd string so bar 44 to 45 Okay, so bar 42 to 45 is going to sound like... Okay, so now we know my whole arrangement of Scare to be Lonely, and if you want my free tabs, I have a link for it in my description. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and have a great day guys.